We've got Grant Harold, who's a Royal commentator and former Royal Butler, uh, on the line. Grant, how are you, sir? Good afternoon. So I'm very, I've had a very good weekend, just to add. Have you? Oh, OK. Look, better than <laughs> the Royal you family. Well. <laughs> um, that's because you're a former Royal Butler. Mm. Presumably, it would have been a bit of a tense weekend in the Royal household this weekend. Oh, it's, it seems as you're kind of glad that you... <laughs> <laughs> You're not there. Um, what well, did, yeah. did, did was the knock-on effect? Did you did you feel the ripples of weekends like this? Oh, no. do you know it's it's really funny. When I was there, and and I've really struggled to kind of remember the kind of things that would have would have happened. But no, there wasn't really um there wasn't really a ripple. It's it's the strangest thing when you work for the family when you're in there if you like it's. It's different. It's, it's hard to explain to you. Since leaving and and like with everyone else, you see what's in the news and you pick up the papers. And yeah. It, you, it's, it's very different. I remember years ago for the Queen's 80th, being a, actually being on service at, at Kew Palace doing the dinner with the royal family. Oh wow! And which w- was fantastic. But then I was a bit annoyed because I was missing out on what was all I felt I was missing out on what everyone was talking about because yeah. on the outside they were all kind of looking in, going, "Wow, this is what's going on," and I'm thinking, "Oh wow." I should be outside. In the eye um, of the storm, it was a bit different, was it? Yeah, it's it's completely different. So it's so a bit more. Um, I think it's safe to say it's a bit more kind of calmer and you no. Know, so I never really kind of noticed any kind of um, kind of ripple effects. But I mean, like everyone else, when I kind of had you know, initially heard what had happened with, with Prince Philip and, and everything. I know. I think what's difficult is it, it is obviously the age thing. I have friends. You know, I have got friends uh, in the nineties and. And one or two of them still drive, and I know for some of them it is a it's a lifeline. Yes, really no, important. I mean that, that that's undeniable. Um, that, that there's no if if you if you're compass mentis and you've got your yeah. wits about you, there's yeah, no yeah, reason yeah. why you should yeah. stop driving. Absolutely. However, absolutely, this is a guy that does not need to drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I, I, absolutely, and this is why I actually, uh, you know, I said this to um, another program that that obviously there is chauffeurs and there is people there to assist. It's not that they have to. I think from what I remember, the thing about being able to drive, and obviously the Queen um, still drives at the moment, um, the thing is it's almost like a kind of escape for them. The fact that they can obviously still drive, it's something that they, they can do. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I might be wrong. I just think that's possibly something that one of the reasons they, they wouldn't want to give it up. And, and I was also thinking, I mean, I suppose Prince Philip technically could have been driving for, what, over 80-odd years. Um, so it was quite a long time. To, to be behind a wheel. Yeah, the novelty must have worn off a bit. For I'm, you. Sure it would, I'm sure it would. I'm sure. I'm sure it would have. But uh, as you said, when something like this happens, I'm sure. I don't know. I, I, I'd be amazed if it didn't somehow have some sort of effect on him as well, because to be in an accident like that. Well, the car um, overturned, didn't it? Exactly. I mean, know, you I, know, that must have been terrifying for. Him. I, 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 and I think. You know, the, OK, I know the next day he went out with his seatbelt, and I don't obviously endorse that at all. But the day, the fact he went out the next day, I did wonder if that was him just just seeing if he could do it. You know, people jokingly say, if you fall off a horse, get straight back on the horse. Or well, you could, um, you know, some might say Prince Philip's a little bit stubborn. I mean, heaven forbid. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think he's, I think it's safe to say he's famous for that, isn't he? Yeah. He's a stubborn in his, his one-liners. I mean, I... Obviously, I I knew him and and all this, and I absolutely loved his humour, you know. And you had to sometimes kind of think twice when he said something to you, but I loved that, you know. It was it was kind of fresh 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 air. Yeah. Um, and recently, he has obviously we don't see much of him. Um, there's obviously been lots of different rumours and things. Um, so in a way, it's been quite good that he has kind of said, "No, I'm still here." <laughs> now, am I right in thinking that even though he's given up his license, the DVLA, mm. that he can still drive around on the Sandringham Estate? Though? Well. That's what I assumed because, again, I think with private estates, and there might be a listener that says, no, this isn't correct, but I think with private estates, I think you can still you can still drive on them. And obviously in Sandringham, there's a lot of private roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and Bamoral uh, as well. So it's possible that, that you know, maybe maybe he, he can still um, drive around those those kind of roads. But I don't know. It has no. to be interesting. Now, on to the other, very quickly, uh, Grant. Mm-hmm. So we're running out of time, sadly. But but regarding Meghan, uh, you know Meghan, yeah. and uh, and the letter, the letter that she sent her dad, yeah. I mean, surely this has got that. This is kind of unheard I, of. Ter- this is this is new territory for the it royal is, family. It is new territory, and we've, I think the whole way along we have said it's quite that uncouth. It, she does things that are, are obviously people say, "Oh, that's not what the royal family." You know, never would you have the member of the royal family doing something like this. But obviously, she felt that strongly about it. I really feel. Do you know? It, it, I think most people agree that it's a fifty-fifty. You, you kind of feel for both sides. It is such a mess. Um, the fact she wrote that letter and then he decides to go to the press, you think, well, you know, part of them must have realised there well, was. There's no coming press. back from that, is there? No, I don't see how they can. And it's really, really, you know, I think with parents and things, if we're lucky enough to have them, um, you hate that. I hate hearing this kind of thing, and it is, yeah. it is really sad and it's embarrassing. But 
you know, maybe who knows? Maybe one day they can they can sort things out. But it is it is really sad. It. Yeah. Uh, listen, Grant. Thank you. It's been great talking to you. Uh, it's Grant Howard, royal commentator and former royal butler. There. Imagine, imagine, uh, imagine being told jokes by Prince Philip and not not and being able to walk away unoffended. Well done, Grant. Uh, right. You're listening to uh, to Jamie East on Talk Radio. In-